Hi, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Chloe, and my favourite part of makeup is probably highlighting, because I just love having that nice little glow, especially on the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow. Comment down below your favourite part of makeup, the fa you know, the part that makes you excited to do, and the part that when you look at it, you're like, oh my god, that's so pretty, whether it's lipstick or, you know, your eyebrows. Let me know, because I'm nosy. Today's video, I'm going to be, as I said last week, I'm going to show you how I contour and highlight and whatever else I can think to add in. And this is part two of the series of, you know, how I do parts of my face, but like, you know, detailed. So I'm hoping you're enjoying it so far. I'm hoping you're learning and let's get into it. This is a continue on of last week's video, obviously. I haven't redone all of this, this is this is brand new. If you haven't seen last week's video, go ahead and go have a look at it. But all my foundation's done, my, and my concealer, my face is powdered and all that jazz. So I'm gonna start contouring my face. I use two brushes for contouring my face. This is a new brush I recently have bought, and I've used it a few times, and I'm loving it. This is the Morphe G30. It's like a flat brush, it's really nice. And I also use another new brush I've bought recently, I'm trying to like replace all my brushes but slowly, is the Kat Von D, I think it's called the, the Edge Concealer Brush. I use this for my nose contour and it's so good for my nose contour. And then what I use to contour is my Makeup Geek Contour Pan in Breakup. Before I bought this in the, re in the reviews, people were saying that this is good to lay down the contour and then they use another brush to blend it. I was going to do that, but the first time I used it I put it down wiped off the excess and then used this to blend it as well and it was absolutely fine so I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest you waste your money. So basically what I do is I dab this in there, tap off any excess and then I place it down. The way you find wet contour, most people will suck in their cheeks so and then you follow that. I kind of just go from like my ear, like the end of my hair here. The way you find out is like best for you. But yeah, I think I think the easiest way for most people is to suck in their cheeks and then follow it up. You want to start at the back though, because this back here will be darker than like down here. So yeah, I'll start at the back here and then come down. Like that. So that's placing it down. And then I wipe off the excess on my pyjama bottoms. You know how I do. And then I use the same brush to blend it out. So I kind of blend it up first. And I like to turn it to the side as well. This is look, whenever I look in the, the viewfinder, this looks so harsh, but in person it doesn't. But yeah, like that. So you can see the difference. The main thing with contour is once you once you like put it down, you don't want to go below there because basically your sh the shadow should be like in the hollowest part and then like kind of go up. It just makes it look a bit more natural. If you go down under where your actual cheek, like cheekbone hollow is, it just kind of drags your face down. And it's the same with like going in. When you go in, you kind of want to curve up rather than going like straight down because it will, it will, it will drag your face down. It will make you look kind of like sad and old. So I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side. I use the same brush for my forehead and I do like a similar thing. Dab my brush in there, place it at the very like start of my hairline because again, it's gonna be darker back there. And kind of just blend it forward. But like I said in the last video, I, I tend not to like contour too much of my forehead because I'm not really that bothered about it. I've never like disliked or particularly liked my forehead. It's just, it's my forehead. It's there. I just kind of contour it just to give my face a bit more dimension after I've put my foundation on. After I've done foundation and powdering, my face looks very like, you know, 1D. It looks very flat. So I just do this to bring back the, the realness to my face. And I also do my jawline. When you do your jawline, you want to make sure you do here, because if you stop here, it looks very unnatural. So make sure you're doing here, following your jawline. And the same way you contour, when you do your jaw highlight, you don't want to come up. You want to kind of just stick to your jawline. Maybe like blend it down if you want to. If you're not great at contouring, this brush is definitely going to make it easier because literally all you have to do is place it in your hollows and blend it. So yeah, I, I would definitely recommend that brush. It wasn't too much, I think it was like £13-ish around there. I'm going to use my Kat Von D brush now. And when you're contouring your nose, if you contour your nose, you want to be really careful. It's not as easy as the rest of your face to keep, you know, looking natural. It's at the front of your face. It's going to be harder to keep it looking natural. So when I do this, I dip in once like that and I still like tap off as much excess as I can because sometimes I do go a bit overboard on my nose contour and it just looks not great. Basically when I first got the product on this brush I do the underneath of my nose first because this will be darkest, it's at the bottom of my face and then I use whatever excess and I run up the side of my nose. I don't think there was any excess. <laughs> I'm just going to 
pat my brush in there again. The tiniest, so, so tiny. There we go, that's better. And then I'll wipe off the excess on my trousers. And just try and blend that up a bit. And down. When I contour my nose, I try and make sure to go up into my eyebrow. If you stop here, or like, you know, here or anywhere, it just, you can tell, and it just doesn't look natural. It's not how shadows work. So I go all the way up into my eyebrow and blend it out into there. So you can see, it's not like a massive difference, but because like I said with foundation, you know, it makes my face look a bit 2D. It just brings back that like, you know, life. I'm just gonna do the other side now. And again, with everything else, Contouring and highlighting is all down to, you know, your preference. If you don't really like your nose, if you think your nose is too big, then I kind of contour the sides of my nose like how it is. Like that's where the side of my nose is, that's where I contour because I'm not, I'm not too bothered about my nose. But if you want your nose to look thinner, I would suggest kind of going like that because it stretches your skin down and then kind of try and go like a bit closer into your nose like, like here like that because that will make your nose appear a bit thinner but you don't want to go overboard because if you've got like you know if you go here like this and go up it's not gonna do it it's just it's just gonna look like you've got two brown lines on the front of your nose you, you gotta be real like you gotta be real subtle with with contouring because it can either work and it, it can work and look good and look natural or it can just look like what the hell is she done to her face so yeah try and be careful practice with your nose practice I practice so much with my nose because one, I just didn't really know how I wanted to contour my nose, and two, I just, I don't know, I just didn't really, I didn't really want to know, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my nose. I never, I've never really hated my nose. I've never really loved my nose either. I think my nose is just a nose, so I just try and, you know, enhance it. And then I take a, another little bit, but smaller, a lot, a lot smaller, and I even dab a bit on my trousers, and I do a little line across here, and that's to make my nose look like a cute little bun nose. So, so I got to try and look. Like so, you can see like it creates a little shadow and makes this look like a cute little button nose. That's the only thing I do to my nose that actually changes the way it looks. Not because like, oh, I want my nose to look like this. I just think it looks cute. Looks like I got a little like turned up nose and it's got like a cute little button. And I, I personally really like it, so that, that's why I do that. But again, it's up to you what you do. So that's it for contouring. Sometimes, sometimes I won't bronze. Today I will, just to, just to show you what I do. And I still haven't found like a great bronzer to be honest, I'm not really sure, you know, what I want from bronzing. But at the moment I've been using my MUA one, this is like a quid, and this is in Sunkissed Bronze. I did buy a new brush for this, but again, not sure of it. thought this brush was going to be so much bigger than it was. This is the G35, and before I was using this brush to bronze, and you can see it's a lot bigger. Just because bronzing, you know, you do a lot of your face. And this is cut quite similar to the size of my highlighting brush, so I think this might be more for highlighting. But I've bought it now and I'm going to use it for its intended use so I dab a little bit in there and I kind of just start in like the areas that I contoured but not as like you know precise some people don't know the difference between contouring and bronzing I didn't for a while and that's why I never bronzed I didn't really you know I didn't see the point I thought it was one or the other but basically you contour your face to create a shadow to make your face look chiseled to make it look you know thinner or, or whatever you want from your contour and usually contour shades will be cool they'll be like a a colder so this is my contour shade this is my bronzing shade this is cool this is more like you know a shadow a shadow you know you think of shadows you think of like black colors like you know it's black it's got to be like a natural cool shade to actually look like a shadow bronzing shades are normally warm they'll be like a warm brown or, or whatever sometimes they'll be shimmery depending on what you want and then people bronze when they want to look a bit more like tanned like a bit more sun-kissed. Especially if you're like using fake tan. People will generally use a bronzer as well to just look like, you know, the sun has kissed them. And when I use blusher, I've only got two blushes at the moment. I'm not like a massive, I'm not a, I'm not a blusher hoarder. I don't think they make too much of a difference. I do like to use them. I don't know, I'm not bothered if I don't. Sometimes I forget and then I'll like notice like later and I'll be like, oh yeah, I forgot a lot of blush. Oh well. I am a pink blush girl. So I've got this one from Revolution. This is a pound and it's so good. And this is in Treat, and this is the one I've been reaching for the most because it's a nice kind of peachy, pinky colour and it's very natural. And I'm just using the same brush because I'm not going to buy a brush for bronzing and blush, so. So what I do is get a little bit on this brush, like this, and, just tap it. and then I start on the apples of my cheek. 
I try not to smile like this, because when you do, if, if you look, if I like did my blush on the apple there, when I bring my face down, the blush will be here. Again, that is going to drag down your face. So what you want to do is smile like slightly, like, and then you'll get the true apple. And then I kind of bring it to the back. So I do try to focus mainly on the apple because when you, you know, when you get a little blush, that is where it mainly shows up. But I like to bring it back just because I, I don't know. Whenever I do it just on the apple on my cheek, it looks really weird, and it doesn't look insanely different but it does look like I have like a little natural blush to my face so I'm gonna do the same on the other side on to highlight my favorite thing so I like to use this revolution highlighting palette it's very nice I do have other highlighters but I'm loving this at the moment I like having it you know with all the different colors because then I can just choose depending on the look I'm doing and then I like to use the elf highlighting brush which I've already shown you I'll be using this one and I like to start my cheekbones Put a fair bit on there and I don't actually tap off any excess because I know that I like to build this up a lot. So I start with my cheekbones which is like here. The way I highlight, which is the way most people will highlight, but if you don't know I'll let you know, is I do the high points of my face, so my cheekbones, which is normally, you know, like around here. I like to do that first because I like, I like to put most of it here because I do find that because it's the side of my face, it doesn't pick up as much as everywhere else I do. Look at that, it's beautiful. And then rather than taking it all the way back to my face, what I do is I do it round my eye like this. I just feel like it's a bit more natural when I do that rather than taking it all the way back. I used to not highlight my cheek here because like I said, I'm quite porous there. I have quite a lot of texture there and highlight will pick that stuff up. But I find it weird like looking like this. It just stops. It just stops here randomly for no reason. And it just looks weird. So I do take a little bit and I smile and put it on the tips tips the top of my like that just makes it I feel like it just looks a bit more natural so that's it for my cheeks that's how I highlight those to make sure that even when I'm looking forward you can see it recently I have a well like take a little bit of it and I like to do it just above my eyebrows like here and this is just because I never used to do this and I haven't seen many people do this the reason I do this is because if like a light is hitting my face and highlighting all here why would it not be highlighting here you know like it just doesn't make sense because this part of my face sticks out more than this part does so I feel like this would definitely have a highlight on it as well especially like you know when we highlight here if we highlight here and not here I just, it just didn't make sense to me so started highlighting above my eyebrows as well and then I also take another little bit and do it on my chin I don't do too much highlighting on my chin because if I highlight too much on my chin it just looks greasy so then for the rest of my highlighting I like to take my pinky finger just run it through there I'll go over more this bit just kills me look at I don't know it looks like really crazy right now, but the reason I do it so much is because I find once I put a bit of lip liner on and lipstick, it just kind of vanishes, so I go overboard so you can still see it later. I do the tip of my nose and my bridge. Look at that little cute nose. The reason I like to use my pinky for those areas is because I have more control. I do have like small brushes that I can do it with, but again, I just I find it like flicks out the highlight and it, it goes areas I don't want it to. My fit my pinky finger I have like the utmost control. But yeah, this is this is how I do my highlighting and this is how I think it looks. One, the best, and two, most natural. And I'm just a fan. I just love highlighting my face so much. It looks so bright. But yeah, so this is how I contour, highlight, bronze, and blush my face. For my face, this is all the powder products. This is like this is done. I like to use, or I have been recently using this Mario Badescu? 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 I don't know how to say his name. Spray. You've probably seen these a lot. They're very popular, especially this one. And this is the Aloe Herbs and Rose Water one. But I like to use this because it helps melt. Even though right now I don't look too powdery, but still, I like to use this just to help melt the powder a bit. You know, like make it sink into my skin, blend everything together nice, and just make it look all a bit more natural. And also I've noticed that this really makes my highlight pop, so... Look at that highlight. Look at that highlight. But yeah, that is everything I do for contouring, highlighting, bronzing, blushing. You know, just making my face look like a face. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learnt something. Let me know down below if I did anything you, you didn't know and you might try. If you've tried it out and you don't like it. And other things you do that I hadn't done in this video that you think I should try. And I'll give it a go. So yes, thank you very much and I'll see you next week. Bye.